I gotta be cautious of that. Right? Push. Elbows are tight. If he tries to peek out one way or the other here, go. I don't let it. My elbows are down. I keep my elbows down. I control even his tricep. Pressure here. If I circle to this side, this is the side I gotta worry about him peeking out, but he can't peek out because I have pressure on his head. If I circle here and I let his head come off, it's gonna be easy for him to step out, especially if I'm draped over him. So I have to keep my chest centered on the back. Chest is attached. Right here. My hands make the adjustments because he's gonna be fighting for your collar too, right? I get the, I get the grip that I want. He's still hanging on my leg. He's got a wide knee with his base. I have a wide base. I feel like, you know what, I'm having a struggle. Rolling might not be the best bet. So here's what I'm doing. I step this leg up. He's holding it anyway. Step it up. Fall. Okay. I'm trying to stay loose. <laughs> well, because he's holding that leg, I don't want to lose this guillotine here, but I can't let him pass it to this side. Because if I fell this way to choke him and he goes that side, I have no choke. He can pop out easy, even if I have his neck. Circle, see? So I want to stop him from moving. He's already holding my leg. He's already got to control my leg here. I have to put my leg up and over. All right, so I'm relaxing a second. Mechanics here. Again, mechanics here is the same thing. This one. This one. Now, if I get here, he falls to his hip. Follow two. This arm and this collar drips. It's bad news for this guy. Just starting your chest to chest. You can even just open and give space, right? If I can work on my grip. Get the neck, too deep. The far side, I have to grab your leg. That time I got, you can look into it. Let's try. 